take my title. I just want my name. I'm always of the mindset if I'm going to be an entrepreneur, of any kind of entrepreneur, I'm going to be a social entrepreneur. So I'm going to have a social aspect in my entrepreneurship. And uh, I'm always concerned about justice and freedom and, and, and the protection of our government, of our rights, of our liberties and our pursuits, and everybody having a fair opportunity. And I saw some things in my community and on the national scale that bothered me. So I started a company called Justice Incorporated, a little company that was just aimed towards trying to find uh, a justice in America. And how old were you at the time? I was about 12 or 13. Everyone on this green earth should be attempting to have a legacy, should be attempting to uh, make a positive impact on this world, uh, whether it be through social entrepreneurship or just being the average Joe who, who, who does something great and is a great person. We should all be striving to be that legacy moment. Uh, because if we're not living for legacy, we're living for failure. That's the greatest failure anybody can have on this earth. Somebody once said, the purpose of life is to die stronger than when you started. And the only way that you die stronger than when you started is by taking advantage of every opportunity that you have in this moment to make life better in the next. So how do you take advantage of your opportunity? You stop complaining. Young people say to me, I didn't have a father when I was growing up in my house. So what? I was poor. We were in the ghetto. So what? I don't have any money. So what? I don't have a mother or I don't have resources. So what? Nobody cares about what you didn't have. A lot of people don't have. I don't have fancy houses and fancy cars. That doesn't mean I'm not successful. So what you don't have the newest pair of speakers? So what you didn't make the basketball team? a 6,000 member church in the heart of the Bible, Bible Belt. 74 years old, she called me for advice. And we talk about the paradox. And he says to me, there are people who aren't coming to church and they aren't doing what they're supposed to do. So what? Uh, don't call me with this nonsense. Call me back when you got some sense. I heard the phone. Call me back 20 seconds later. I said, Reverend, I'm sorry about that. I was listening. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> That's right, 11 years old. But that was only the beginning as a Passaic resident. Not only expanded his business, but now sits on top of his own multimedia empire and ranks among one of the youngest CEOs in America. Joining me is Hezekiah Griggs, the third president and CEO of HG3 Media LLC. It's great to have you here with us Appreciate today. I understand you. you can talk about any subject, but we're going to start talking about 
the company, and you said 11, but actually maybe age 9? Yes. There's about what's going to happen tomorrow. That's what Hezekiah Griggs is hoping, too. This Passaic High School senior is the founder of True. With a table of content that features some fluff and lots of hard stuff, he says writers easily tackle issues like gay marriage, stem cell research, and other important topics. Very often, we take for granted what's going on in the world with the one Iraq, Darfur, the situation. I was locked out, I was jailed, I was discouraged, I was homeless, I was forgotten, I was ostracized, I was sick. When the trees bear no fruit, I will still believe. When my heartbeat is no more, I will still believe. I was pain, I was struggle, I was fear, I was lifeless. Yet through it all, through all my pain, through all my struggle, through all my fear, I still believe. I still believe. If you don't value it, then you're not successful. Commitment and understanding that 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 when you do something, or when you when you enroll in something, when you start something, you stay committed to it because you will never be successful if you're not committed to it. And dedicated, dedicated in your beliefs and your convictions. Dedicated in the sense that no matter what people say to you, no matter what people do to you, you will still stay on that track. That's what they need. That's what that's what anybody. Life is a beautiful struggle.